Hi, my name is Mark Flourish with PSE. We specialize in delivering business intelligence systems for our customers. Here's one of the ways that we do that. So this whiteboard session is on business intelligence maturity. And like uh, with my kids, I think when they get to the age of 13 that they can, they can just become 20. Uh, maturity suggests that there's logical steps that, that people go through. And in business intelligence, it's very similar. All right, so these are the five stages of business intelligence maturity. The first stage is what we call spread marts. And uh, really, it's where organizations are kind of in spreadsheet hell. It's, uh, they have 100 spreadsheets, and they're using spreadsheets to manage their, their performance and their numbers, their measures that they're using to, uh, to, to run the business. So the challenge is in, in the phase two is there's often still siloed applications. These are typically, yeah, these access applications are designed for the business areas, but they're siloed. They're often not supported by IT, because IT doesn't like a lot of distributed applications within their organization. Uh, it doesn't scale, and then it doesn't support lots of users, and it often is just a limited use kind of a uh, application or scenario. So those are some of the challenges. That's, that's uh, phase two. Phase three, uh, often what happens in base, phase three is the business ends up getting more involved in really designing a solution that meets their needs and requirements. And they get involved to fund it and to provide a better vision and to try to provide priorities. And their challenge with that, not only is it si siloed kind of uh, data structures, but we also end up having to duplicate data because all these different databases, we need to have customer information as an example. So we end up having to replicate customer information, not only in one of these data marts, but if you have 10 of them, all of a sudden you have customer data in 10 different places. We also end up with data quality issues as well, and that became, becomes problems when you have different departments that come and report information, and those, that information doesn't tie out. Stage four is really where we become more enterprise and strategic. We really focus beyond the departments and really look at it from a data perspective. How can we take this data that's in siloed applications and designed for departmental use and put it into an enterprise data warehouse structure model to support information collaboration and information sharing across the enterprise? This does require that the enterprise and the business gets involved in defining um, a different vision different strategy and different uh, priorities that are really driven from an enterprise perspective and often those priorities are deliv delivered and, and driven by the C-level executives. We also end up looking at uh, a couple other areas that we call a business intelligence competency center. A competency center is a group of people that collaborate, that, that transcend departmental lines and help people get on the same page in terms of using the right tools on the front end side as well as the right data structure and data model to support the enterprise needs and requirements. This group also starts <clears throat> getting involved in collaborating on priorities and which group's data is more important and which group's data needs to be delivered first as you build out different subject matter areas in the data warehouse. Data governance also becomes very important because data governance is often driven by the business side. When we look at data quality issues in these different levels, often we need business involvement to basically help them get engaged and involved in, in cleaning up data that's get, that gets put into the data warehouse. Level five is really where, we, where organizations become more performance driven and there's a different culture that gets created. This business intelligence technology and framework and quality starts to drive and change the way the business performs. What we end up with as we get to this level, actually when we get to this level in here, we start to have much more clean data in our frameworks and architecture and the business becomes very uh, engaged in trusting that data that's part of the enterprise data warehouse. And we also see organizations looking to not only use business intelligence internally to support information analysis and, and reporting, um, and measurement and performance management, but we also see organizations wanting to take that to the next level and deliver information to customers, deliver information to partners, and deliver inf information to suppliers. We promise to deliver a world-class business intelligence system that provides the greatest value to you and your organization. We've been talking about business intelligence maturity. It may sound overwhelming. We've implemented 300 business intelligence systems. It's not overwhelming to us. Please give us a call. We'd love to help you get to level four, level five.